Yeah. Well, tell us about it. What year? What's, what's it about? Tuesday, 6 a.m., and uh, he's pulling out. That guy down there, Millis, is waiting, and then I'm behind this gentleman. I thought maybe it'd be a quick uh, load and get on back over to South Carolina because I'm in Charlotte. Saw this load last night when I was uh, dropping off my other load, and I said, oh, that's good. 420 bucks on 60 miles, but it looks like we've been waiting a while. And I also messed up and I forgot that um, T-Dubs has a tattoo removal appointment this morning at 9. I told her I'd be there for the boys, so I'm in all kinds of trouble. Either way, we're at the recycling place in Charlotte. This is one of the busiest side roads I've ever seen. Non-stop cars go by and trucks. Well, let's get back into the warmth. Wait our turn. They're only Two doors that they're uh, loading in, and like there's another truck just pulled in behind me. And so if you ever come here, I've been sitting here, I was third in line for a while, and two other trucks just pulled right in, right there, and went on that scale where that dump truck is. And until uh, that guy down there finally realized we had to go and talk to somebody. So we got passed by two uh, day cabs that probably do this on a regular. Whatever, just get in there, talk to the lady, get on the scale, get your weight done. So let's watch how this guy does it. We already came through the other way on the scale to get to weigh in light and weigh in heavy, so that's how they sell this product or how they keep track of this product. Which is pretty much, I think, just probably recycled cardboard, going to be uh, recycled into paper, uh, Rolls. So he's coming in wide, so leave yourself some room. Now he's gonna flip all the way around and come right back to the same spot, most likely, because he's got it back in right next to that Millis. Tight quarters here. If you ever come to Charlotte, Sonico to get some recycled cardboard. He's not gonna make it till that guy moves off the scale. Da, da, da. At least like we're, looks like we're making progress. Oh, he's trying to go for it. Just gonna back it up. Back it up, Terry. We'll clear that. But it's a 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. window. I got here at 6.05 and there was four trucks in front of me. So. You might want to get here earlier on the night and park on the street over there. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we're waiting for the scale.
It was a cool little shot at downtown Charlotte, right? Liking that drone. Now, this guy's been here for a while, and the yard jockey just pulled over there. I need to go out with the yard jockeys out at and get on that scale. So, let's see if he moves anytime soon. <laughs> Got a pretty bald tire in the back of that thing. This guy's backing up now. Huh, we'll see. We're in limbo mode right now, but we're loaded. Get our seal and close these doors. And then get over 62 miles. Right back where I, w <clears throat> where I was last night, so. When I was leaving last night from my drop, where I was about to get unloaded or be done, I said, uh, look at the loads one more time, and this one was coming right back to that area. I just had to go to Charlotte to go grab it real quick, so. I did it, and here we are. Good thing I didn't pull out because that guy's still on the scale. Well, we'll get back home after this. It's got a drop between 10 and 4 o'clock. We should be there right at 10 or a little bit before. <coughs> This is 745 right now. Okay, Latin Tools, what are you doing? Latin Tools. I'm waiting for everybody. I don't mind it, as long as we don't get hit. Ah, uh, this guy's pulling on scale. No, no, he's not. Maybe he is. There's a container coming in. A lot of traffic through here. Yeah, we'll get back home. Apologize to T-Dubs for uh, forgetting about her appointment. And then uh, see if we get something to Texas, get something to Florida. I really want to get out to Texas. I know some of you guys have been commenting and see my grandpa. I really do. I just can't believe for a thousand miles it's like sixteen, seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars. It should be at least three grand. So we'll see. See what we get once this container gets off our scale. We need to get back on it. Our container buddy here. I do not think you have to ask him who the GOAT is for uh, NBA between LeBron and Jordan. That is a true Carolinian right there. The socks and everything. I like it. And there's already three other guys lined up over here. We got Fleet Express and then an uh, old CRST truck and then another truck behind him. Busy, busy at the uh, recycling, Charlotte. If you ever do come to this Sunoco in Charlotte, uh, pull on the scale when you get your turn. She'll give you a wait, then go back out the street over there on the left and wait for one of these two doors to open up. And there is a lot of traffic on this road. And then when you're coming back out, once he's got a clear shot to get it back on the road, come back on the scale and get your weight again. And that is how much, that's how they tell how much product you have on that. We were 34,500 light this morning. We have a little over half tanks full of fuel. So. There you go. 34,500. Let's get back on this scale. Check in and get our paperwork. See what we got. Whoa. All right. Kind of scared me. <laughs> so the water starts shooting out. I actually jumped back a little bit right there. Thought an eel was coming out of the ground. Oh, yeah. Recycled cardboarding. Usually they'll sweep it out for you, but sometimes they don't. We're only 66, 66, zero. A lot of sixes. It's not bad at all. Not even close to 80. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Let's get back home. The Gaffney Peach. 
also known as a water tower. But I guess it was in, I didn't really watch the Breaking Bad series, but I guess that beach over there on the right was uh, in that series. As the car was parked underneath it, but it was superimposed because I don't think you can park underneath it. So, yeah, that's the Gaffney Beach. If you're ever coming down 85 between Charlotte and Greenville, there you go. And the sun is coming out. It's going to be a pretty day. right here on the left. I see trailers. That's a good sign. Amazon trailers too. That's, that's weird. I thought this is recycle plant West Rock. The Amazon trailers run some cardboard too. safety oriented here very thorough they make you put a strap across the back of your trailer doors in case it shifts it won't pop open if one of the bales like fell down and then um watch your rear vest of course which is always a good thing to do so we have to go into this scale house get on the scale and then they'll it says it'll print us two tickets we have to scan a barcode on our paperwork and put a bol number in so Let's see how easy this process is. For 420 bucks, I mean, it's not a lot of work, it's part of the job, but definitely a lot more entailed than uh, a lot of other loads. Because they want to know how much weight you have so that you can, uh, they can get paid. Let's go check out the scale. Well, we tried. We tried. Okay, let's see what we got here. If you're scaling in, use this skin. Okay. Oh, where was that barcode? There it is. There you go. Okay, and it'll be a well number. He's serving it for us. I guess we're gonna put letters T254. Uh am I supposed to put the dash in there because it doesn't let me hit finish. Let's go back to the dash. Nope. Dash four seven four seven three. Nope, still doesn't let me do finish. All right. Finish, 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 finish. Next. Oh, there we go. And one, four, four, six. Next. Da, da, da. Looks right. Huh. 
All right. He said one ticket's for them, one ticket's for me. Easy enough. Let's go get unloaded. All right. He said the left has transformers in between the buildings. scale out again so yeah and you can, I don't know if you can see that but they got those big round uh, rolls of paper so that's what they turned the cardboard into more cardboard okay we got XPO sitting here is he waiting or can we go past him I guess we should wait behind him. Yeah, this has got to be the line. Okay, okay. And we wait. I gotta admit, that drone is pretty cool. A couple loads going out to uh, right by my, where my grandpa lives, but um, they're just not paying on this Tuesday. One of them, they already bounced it to tomorrow, so. And then they told me my offer was getting outbid. But we're getting unloaded here with the day cab. Is that a Kenworth day cab? I don't know, I believe so. Either way, uh, I'm trying to get out to see grandpa, I'm trying to get something else good, but Tuesday is Tuesday. That's why I kind of took this load, because it, uh, it was a straight through. And it's only 10. That's awesome. 1040, that's 1040. Yeah. So we'll see if we get something, but I'm only um, 20, 25 miles from home, so I'll just head back to the house and see if we get anything. But it's nice to already have something off the truck on Tuesday morning, even though it's a lot cheaper than usual. It's money coming in, so. See what we get, but yeah, that drone's pretty cool. I'm just kinda, I, I'm reading up on all the, uh, 107, that's like a 107 license you have to have. Um, but it's like line of sight. You can still see the drones. There's different stipulations. So I'm going to look into that and take that test. But I'm just trying to keep it like right by where I'm at and do a quick pano and come back down. So somewhat safe. But yeah, see if we get anything today and get back home. And we're out of here. A couple good loads were out there. Um, at my actual broker was C.H. Robinson that works with me every now and then. Um, emailed me, but I didn't get back to him quick enough. And this is what he emailed after I actually got back to him. Would have been a good one, but uh, didn't happen. No dice. So there's still loads out there. There's still loads popping up on all these apps, and then they're just bouncing the next day if you offer too much on them. So stick to your guns. Know your worth, like we always say, and um, you'll get a load. This is a quick little extra 420 bucks, um, and I was only 60 miles away from it. So went and grabbed it. It's off the truck. It's 10. It's almost 11 now. 11 o'clock on a dot, and. Uh, See if we can get some months on the trailer. If not, we'll just go home and see what Wednesday and Thursday hold. Because uh, January, February are definitely the worst times of the freight years. So. 
first of all, let's go play with this computer in here. Get rescaled out. All right, so I found him again. Here it is, the cab over. Here it is. He's actually delivering the same spot I was. But tell us about it. What year? What's it, what's it about? It's an 01. 01? Yeah. What's the power plant, the motor and stuff? It's a, a Detroit, a 500 Detroit. 500 Detroit? Wow. How long have you had it? Oh, uh, for me, I had it like for nine years. And right. I drove it for the first the first guy that, that owns it. Okay, first owner, you bought yeah, it from him? I drove it for almost five years. Nice. But uh, it's been parked for a couple of times. Yeah? Because I had another one. So I another bought, cab over? No, no, it's a classic. Okay, classic XL? Yeah. Nice. And uh, at first it was my, my summer truck. I yeah. was only driving in it. But now I, I keep the keep. classic. Though. There you go. Yeah. It's beautiful, man. Because awesome. From my country in Canada, it's hard to cross. Yeah. So you brought it down from Canada, or do you live here now? You, are you, no, I'm going back to Canada. You're going back to Canada right now? Man, this truck is awesome. Well, it's nice to meet you. My name is Justin. What was yours? Paul. Paul, nice to meet you, man. If you want to check out the channel, it's Just Trucking. Okay. We'll see you later. Thanks, Paul. That's awesome, guys. Back to Canada. Oh, man. I had to stop and see him because he was uh, he was measuring his weights distribution, and I said, "Hey, man, I gotta talk to you." Awesome, nice meeting you, Paul. Well, that was cool meeting you, Paul. Um, one load right now coming down from like Hendersonville, which is like north of my house by about 40 miles. Um, that'll do it for 22 right now, but I said 28.50, and I said 27. I'll do it. It goes to Tampa. It's not too heavy. I think it's like uh, 20,000 pounds. So we'll see if that comes through. But I told uh, my broken buddy I'll just be heading home. Let me know if that comes through. So it's Tuesday. Might be a quiet day. Well, it is a quiet day, but it might be a quiet go home day. But well, we got some sunshine, so might as well see the park. And man, that cab over was sweet. 500 horsepower Detroit. Cowpens always has the weirdest little. Uh, on ramp over here. This is where Dollar Tree's distribution center is, and Berry Cap has a little factory over here where they make like caps for silver products. But it has like a weird entrance to it. Curve back around and get on 85. Look at those clouds. It's a pretty day. 49 degrees. It's been fun, Cow Penn, South Carolina. We'll see you next time. So that C.H. Robinson load going to Tampa, uh, then pushed it back a day. Um, it's Tuesday, they always push back the loads if they can't cover them for what they want or get them for cheap. Um, then there was another one that was J.B. Hunt. It's uh, Knoxville, I'd have to go up and get it and delivers down by Charlotte and they're offering at 1100, which is pretty good. Um, it's a pretty good rate for that for 240 miles. Um, but I offered them 1850 and they came back at 12 and then they came back and then I offered them 1755 and they came back at 1242. So those are those. And then there's another one going, there's a couple going to Texas. One from uh, Heavy up there at uh, Congara um, Canned Foods. It's like 44,000 pounds and it's going all the way to, to Fort Worth, which is about my grandpa. But um, they wanted it for like 19 or 2000 and it was a TQL load. He actually called me right when I was inside of a good old pilot for a little bit, freshening up. And then um, there's another one going from Asheville to, uh, Waco, Texas. I think it's yeah, Waco, Texas. Or Dallas. Um, then there's another one going to Waco from Fountain Inn tomorrow morning. JB Hunt Load. And they're offering 2000 It's the highest they'll go. And I'm offering um, 33 So I guess you just can't get $3,000 going to Texas. I don't know. Maybe if they really need something moved. But it seems like it's right about 2000 maybe 21 22 if you're lucky, to go from the South Carolina area, North Carolina, Asheville, Tennessee area, um, to Dallas. So. Maybe I'll just have to bite the bullet and take it out there. $2 a mile is still $2 a mile, but then I'm looking at stuff coming back from Texas and it's not 
There's not that many, there's nothing. There's a lot of stuff going like between Texas or going to Louisiana or Oklahoma, but nothing coming back. Um, a couple, like maybe one going to Florida and one going to New York, but I didn't look through all the apps. I only looked at three of them, so. We're gonna head back home now, go to the park with the boys, unless uh, JB Hunt calls us and says, hey, do you want that Knoxville load? We'll go get, we'll go grab it, or if they call, call and say, do you want that uh, Fort Worth, Texas load, so. But the CH is off the off the board, and the TQL, he's like, yeah, I can't, I can't pay 3,000 to go to Dallas. So we'll lose a lot of money on that. And I said, well, I'm trying to see my grandpa, I'm trying to get paid to go do it, so. Check out these cars, uh, or these trucks. Uh, it's nice and sunny outside, so they're getting washed. At the streaking beacon, as we call it out here. Well, some people call it, I think it's just called the blue beacon, but yeah, everyone's in line. There's actually like another two trucks you can't see back there. So let's get home. We should watch our truck, but we're not waiting on that line. It's only a single bay. Well, most of them are two bays. This one only has one, so maybe they should open another one right here. Who knows? Let's get home. Keep forgetting to bring my paperwork home for T-Dub, so I'm gonna bring it home this time. And this is our OBS that we get back and forth to the semi with, and um, it'll be given away next year in December, right before Christmas. So if you're interested in that, check out justtrucking.shop. Get a Carhartt three pack of masks, get a hoodie, get a thermal, get all kinds of stuff on there, check it out. And we will let T-Dubs tell us about our giveaway for the month also, which is a tablet. So here she is as we get back home. This month's giveaway is gonna be a tablet a 128 gigabyte eighth generation iPad or an S6 Android tablet, or you can just take the $400 cash. The way to enter is you're gonna see a little drop down tab right here and it's gonna pull down the description. In the description, there's gonna be a link to our Gleam giveaway. Go ahead and enter that way. And on February 13th, when the giveaway entries end, we're gonna go live at nine on Saturday night like we always do. And at 9.30, we're gonna pick a winner. But we're doing it different again this month. This month we're gonna have five key numbers hidden throughout the duration of this giveaway. So you must be live in the chat room, be chosen as the winner, and have the five numbers. What will happen is we will call a winner. You will have five minutes to respond to my email address, justtruckinwife at gmail.com with the five numbers. And that's how you win. Good luck. Also, check out just trucking dot shop. We got in our new 30 ounce tumblers for hot or cold. They're beautiful and I love mine. It's over there with my coffee machine. And we have our new Carhartt, upside down, sorry. Our new Carhartt masks. They come in a pack of three. Thanks so much and good luck. Well, old Red got us safely home again. I think T-Dubs might've ordered Chick-fil-A. Who knows? Let's see. But, uh, yeah, if you're interested in that kind of thing, there is the power plant going in that truck. Check out JustTrucking.shop if you're new to the channel. If you're not and you've already bought apparel, I pray you win it. Let's get this paperwork to T-Dubs and see what the heck she's doing with Chick-fil-A. What in the world is going on right here? Hey, baby! Oh. Hi, beautifuls. Oh, you want to hold you? I'll hold you. Let me put this stuff down. Baby! I'll hold you one second. Let me put all the stuff down. All right. You guys riding a motorcycle in the middle of the... In the, middle of the... There you go. Whee. All right. We got some more stuff? Let's see what's in those boxes. Yeah, yeah. All right, God bless you guys. See what Wednesday holds. Oh my goodness, I'm back riding the bike again. Here we go. Got some packages too. These are for the LS1 fuel rail coming off the Dash 6 line. Uh, these are cool. I've been needing these like little tripods to hold my phone. And check out justtrucking.shop. Get one of these tumblers, hot or cold. These actually got lost or stolen off the porch. I don't know. They were said they were delivered. These are flywheel bolts. Um, by ICT Billup and then the header bolts. So they sent us another set without no questions asked. I said, hey man, they never showed up. They said, don't worry. So there we go. Let's go check out that motor and Chick fil A just randomly shows up at the house. Straight out of Greenville? Are you hood? You have no idea. <laughs> oh man. 
And I guess Scooby Doo's coming back around because that's what they're watching. Yikes. I like to like Scooby Doo. Anyways, God bless you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to help G Dubs open her ketchups. <laughs>